Is it possible to do all of your audio editing right in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve instead of having to jump into Fairlight? Well, yes and no. Today's video is sponsored by Artlist, and we're gonna be talking about how you can do the majority of your audio editing right in the edit page. You don't have to jump over into Fairlight, although Fairlight's awesome and I love it, and you should, but most of it can be done in the edit page for all of your basic audio edits that you might normally need to do on one of your videos. In a basic audio edit, what's the one thing that you can't do in the edit page? That is checking the overall loudness of your video for a platform like YouTube or wherever you might be uploading it. But for all of our basic audio edits, things like applying some basic EQ, adjusting our levels, fading clips in and out, even applying plugins, we can do all that right here in the edit page. So let's walk through a recent video I put out. We're gonna do all the edits that we can in the edit page and you'll hopefully learn a thing or two and see that, hey, audio editing's not so bad. And if you're afraid to jump into Fairlight, you can do a lot of it right here in the edit page. Let's jump into Resolve, check it out. So taking a look at this project, this is the video I recently put out, 100K subs play button, when I unbox my play button. And it's a fairly basic edit. So if you've got just dialogue, music, and sound effects, you can do a lot of things right here in the edit tab. You don't even have to jump into Fairlight. So taking a look at my final edited video, just to see what I did here, I've got some keyframes you can see on my music, right? To give it the volume and the levels that I want. And if we jump over into Fairlight, we can see I've got my dialogue track right here and my music track and we can see that I've got some effects applied on here and I've did a little bit of EQ a little bit of dynamics and on my bus one here we've also got a, uh, a limiter as well as a meter so I'm not going to be able to apply effects onto my bus one or my main output here in the edit tab so that's one thing that you're going to have to do over in Fairlight if that was something that you wanted to do whoa put on the brakes I messed up you can actually apply a plug-in onto your bus in the edit page, but you can't edit it once you've closed the window for that plugin. Check this out real quick, just wanted to clarify this. So in Resolve here, if I wanted to apply this L1 limiter to my main bus, I can click, hold, and drag to drop it in the mixer here on my bus one, and it's gonna bring up the effect. Now I can go in here and adjust this however I want, but let's say I wanna go back and change it after the fact, right? I, I make my adjustments, I close the window, now I have no way to reopen that effect when it's on your main bus. If it's on a track, I can open it up, but when it's on your main bus or your bus one, I can't reopen it here, right? You try clicking on effects. I can't select the bus one to bring it up in the inspector, where if I go to one of my other tracks, I can go to my effects tab right here and see my effects that are on that track, but I don't see my bus one here. I can't select it over here, so you can't adjust that effect once it's already applied to your bus one. So just wanted to mention that real quick. I misspoke there two seconds ago, so uh, there's the clarification for you. All right, back to it. But as far as these effects right here in my track one and track two, we can apply that to the entire track in the edit page as well as be able to edit it over there. So let's jump back in the edit page. I'm gonna wipe out all of these changes and then I'm gonna show you how we can make these changes in the edit page. Jumping back to the edit page here, just gonna make a copy of this timeline duplicate timeline, we'll call it edit page audio. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. So I've gone ahead and removed all of the attributes from both the tracks as well as the clips here in DaVinci Resolve. I had to jump into Fairlight to do that. You don't have to worry about that. I just wanted a clean slate to start with. So the first thing that I do once I get into the edit tab here is actually sync up my good audio with my camera, which has scratch audio on it. So to do that, we can do it right here in the edit page. In your media pool, you find your good audio. So for me, in my case, it was this track right here, this clip right here. And then I sync it up with my video, which is this track right here. And actually, since this was a multi-cam clip for me, there's the same audio in both of these camera clips. So I'm gonna just select them both. I'm gonna right click, come down to auto sync audio and choose based on waveform. I'm gonna select that. It's gonna sync it all up for me. And then we're good to go to start editing together our video. So that would be step one in the edit tab here, just sync everything up. Now I've gone ahead and I've cut up my video and I have all of my uh, audio and video clips here. The video's done, I'm ready to edit some audio. The first thing I'm gonna do is come in and adjust the levels for my dialogue. I wanna make sure I'm around that minus 10 dB range. And to do that, uh, to adjust my levels, I can come to my clip and just use the gain line on the clip here and move it up and down to adjust my levels. So I would watch my meter, look for that minus 10 dB and adjust my levels accordingly so that it's close to that minus 10 dB. Now, if you don't see your waveforms or your gain line right here, make sure you come to your timeline view options and make sure you got the waveforms turned on. So you can use this gain line right here or jump over to the inspector 
and you can use your volume slider right here. Either way is fine. Doesn't matter. They both do the same thing. And I'm also going to solo my track here so I only hear the dialogue while I try and set the levels for it. Oh, buddy, look at this. Look at this. Whoa. From YouTube, this is the YouTube silver play button, guys. I can't thank you guys enough for the opportunity. All right, so that looks pretty good. We're in the yellow. I'm happy with that because I would apply a compressor and other things later on to help make up the difference there between the minus 10 and, and where it currently sits. So we've got adjusting levels here in the edit tab. Check, we can do that. So now with my dialogue, there's a few clips that I like to use on my dialogue tracks. And in Fairlight, I would apply it to a track. And in this case, I can either apply the same effect onto my clips here in the edit tab, or I can actually apply it to a track right here in the edit tab. But first, I'd like to mention today's sponsor, and that is Artlist. Artlist has a ton of awesome stuff on there. I've been telling you guys about Artlist for a long time now. I use them for my music, my sound effects. They've got tons of great stuff there. In addition to also having great video clips, stock footage, they've got DaVinci Resolve templates, a whole ton of stuff. It's kind of like a one-stop shop of assets to bring your videos to that next level. And in the video that we were just working on there, I did get the music from Artlist. So I wanted something that built in some feeling and had a little bit of epicness to it. So when I go over to Artlist, I can search for that kind of music. I want something that's epic. I want something that's cinematic. I want different styles of music. I can find songs that are similar to ones that I like. It just makes it really easy for me to find music and sound effects that I want to use in my videos to just bring it to that next level. Check out Artlist. Maybe it's something that'll work for you. Link in the description below. You can hit that up. And honestly, I don't think you'd regret signing up for Artlist and seeing and using all of the awesome assets that they have. So a huge thank you to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. Now let's jump back into Resolve. So let's go grab that effect. I'm going to come to my effects library. Make sure I'm in my uh, audio effects. And I want to come down to the free plugin that was given away, the Manny MEQ, which is right here. I've been liking this a lot and using it a lot lately. So I can click hold and either drag and drop it on a clip if I want to use it on just a clip. Or if I drop it over here, it's going to apply it to the entire track, just like if I added it in the mixer in the Fairlight page. So I'm going to drop it right here on the entire track. And it's going to bring up the effect window for me right here. I can play through, make any changes that I want. And let's say, oops, maybe I closed the window. Can I get it back? Yeah, you can. So if I just click over here on my track, we can see in my inspector up over here, make sure your inspector's open. Under effects, we've got our effect right here. And you can go through and edit it this way by looking at it in the inspector, or you can open up your, uh, your interface again. So you can go through and edit it that way by clicking on these guys. Boom, there it is. So now I would just play through my clip. I'm actually gonna shrink this down a little bit, 100%. I'm gonna play through my clip, make the adjustments that I want, and we'll be good to go. We've got some good edited audio. And what I like to do with this particular one is start with the bright male vocal and just make a few changes. Opportunity to create this channel, make content for you guys, and for 100,000 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. Awesome. Just so excited to, to reach this milestone. Never, ever in a million years thought I'd get to 100,000 subscribers. But thank you to you guys, and we're going to open this guy up. Let's, let's get in here, right? The YouTube play button. So my uh, UPS guy delivered it for me up. And uh, Loma UPS guy always brings me... Okay, there we go. That's it. Now our EQ on our channel here with the plugin that I typically use is good to go. Now, if you wanted to use the built-in EQ on the entire track, you can't do that here in the edit tab. You can use the smaller EQ though. If you select a clip, come to your inspector, the audio tab, and let's just make this a little bigger here so we can see the audio tab. You've got the little EQ right here. You can turn that on and you can make some EQ changes to your clip if you want to use that. But you can't do the whole track level EQ unless you've got a plugin or an effect that you want to use on the track the way we just did. So that's one downside about using the built in EQs in the edit page versus in Fairlight, right? In the edit page, we can't do it on a whole track level, whereas in Fairlight, we can. But if you do want to do it on a clip by clip basis, use a little EQ here in the inspector, you can do that right in the edit page. So again, I'm gonna close my inspector here. Now the other effect that I like to apply onto my dialogue track is a compressor. And the one I've been liking lately is called RVox. I'm gonna click drag and drop it over here because I want it on the entire track again, not on just a particular clip. So I'm gonna drag and drop it on there. And now I can make some adjustments to my compressor here. I'm just gonna drag this down as I play through the clip and we're gonna aim for that minus 10 dB. All kinds of fun stuff. So let's see. Let's check this guy out. Here it is. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, always helps if you get all the tape, right? Let's go ahead and get this guy under here. 
All right, I think that looks pretty good. So now we've got our compressor applied to our entire track. We're good to go. Now, when it comes to the dynamics that are built into DaVinci Resolve, again, you can't apply it to the entire track here in the edit page. So if you want to use the built-in dynamics, you're going to have to jump into Fairlight to do that. But if you've got plugins that you like to use, you can use those right here in the edit page on a clip or a track level. So let's say, okay, we're good to go there. I'm happy with that. I think we're all set with our dialogue. It sounds good. Levels are good. Let's move on to working with our music. Now, when it comes to working with our music, if we want to fade it in and fade it out really easy with either music or sound effects or any audio, we do get these little handles here that you should see right here and we can click hold and drag that in. Now, if you don't see those little handles, you may need to make your tracks a little taller. An easy way to do that is using this right here, the audio slider, you can make them bigger. So easy to fade in and out clips here, right in the edit page. If you wanna try and blend things together a little bit, no problem. If you wanna adjust the levels of your music, again, no problem. You can click, hold, and drag on that gain line just like we did for our dialogue. So I'm gonna get rid of my fade there. Now let's say maybe I wanna add in some keyframes. So let's reset our volume here. I'm actually gonna bring it down a little bit because I don't want it to be too loud, right? In order to add in some keyframes here, you can select your clip, open your inspector, and under volume here, we can add the keyframes this way, or the way that I like to do it is just use my option or alt key, hover over that gain line on our clip. When you get the, that symbol, you can just click your option or alt and then click on that line and it's gonna add a keyframe. So now we can add in some keyframes. So let's say we wanna drop the volume down a little, let it come to here, drop it down again, and here's what that sounds like. Oh, buddy, look at this, look at this. Whoa, from YouTube, this is the YouTube silver play button guys i can't thank you guys and subscribers here on my youtube channel awesome just so excited to, to so real easy to make volume adjustments here add keyframes right here in the edit tab i like to add an effect that'll spread out the uh, music a little bit kind of push it out to the sides to make room for that dialogue right down the middle and the effect i've been using lately is something called if i come to my effects library all the way down to the bottom it's called THX Spatial Creator. So this is a cool plugin that I've been playing around with. So I'm gonna click, hold, drag, and drop that onto my music track. Now when it does it, it's gonna bring up the whole effect for me. I'm just gonna pick a preset here. We're gonna say, let's go with a medium hall, close that down, and let's hear how that sounds. Oh, buddy, look at this, look at this. Whoa. So it kind of pushes the music away from us a little bit, which is what I want when I have music underneath my dialogue. I want to make some space for my dialogue. And in my inspector here, you can see the effect came up with all these different parameters, which are way confusing and don't look easy to use. But we can always click on this option right here to bring up our interface so that way we can go through and make adjustments as we need. So for the majority of time, those basic tools right there that I just showed you right in the edit tab are going to be enough to get you from the start of your audio editing to pretty much the end of your audio editing. Now, you won't be able to adjust your loudness and do some more advanced things or apply like a preset maybe that you've made for your tracks. You can't do that here in the edit tab. If you take a look in the edit tab here, if we come up to Fairlight and we go to preset library, it's grayed out. We can't use it. So we're not able to apply presets to just speed things up and make our audio editing process a little faster here in the edit tab. But if you created a preset, you're probably comfortable enough to be working in Fairlight so you don't have to worry about just doing everything in the edit tab here. Now, let me just jump into Fairlight real quick to show you some of the things that you're missing out on by only using the edit tab for your audio editing. So let's jump into Fairlight, musical notes at the bottom. Now, a couple of quick notes here. Some of the things that we can't do in the edit tab, and that is work with our dynamics right here work with our track level EQ. We've got things like sending our tracks to other buses or routing options. We can't do that in the edit tab. I like to apply a meter on here that will allow me to make sure my loudness levels are good. I like to check my loudness levels using the loudness tools up here. There's also things like creating voiceovers and patching our tracks in different ways, as well as working with presets and applying presets. There's a lot, a lot of things you can do here in Fairlight that would make your audio editing process a little bit easier once you get in there and you learn how to do it. So while it is 100% possible to do the majority of your audio editing for basic audio work in the edit page here in DaVinci Resolve, I still gotta recommend you gotta jump over into Fairlight because as an audio guy, I want all those tools. I wanna make my audio sound the best that I can and Fairlight's gonna give me the ability to be able to do that. 
But if you're intimidated by Fairlight, don't worry. Start in the edit tab, start easy, and then learn as you go. And then little by little, you're gonna learn more about audio, take it piece by piece, and eventually before you know it, you'll be an audio master too. So that wraps up this one. If you've got questions and comments, leave it down below. Big thank you to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. So get out there, edit your audio, even if it's in the edit tab, because you can make your audio sound better right there in the edit tab. You don't have to jump into Fairlight, but I recommend Fairlight because I'm an audio guy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.